So here we go. Leaving the pilot in Beasley, Texas. Check out my truck. I'm just kidding. Y'all know Gonzo ain't about that hood truck life. My oh girl, Esperanza looking sexy. We're gonna we're gonna get going here in a bit. It's got some necessities from the pilot. And I just dropped my big tumbler. It's okay. We good. Stay there. No damage. Nice. So, been a while. How y'all doing? If you're new here. My name is Gonzo, and I'm a truck driver. <sighs> I've uh, came home, handled some uh, home time stuff. Made sure I pulled forward in the fuel island before getting in to grab my drinks and some to snack on. So literally just got in the truck I mean yeah you saw me get in the truck but I'm talking about actually just got in the truck less than an hour ago um, did my pre-trip inspection got all my ducks in a row as far as my pickup picking up a loaded trailer in Brookshire Texas headed down to Laredo Texas so it's gonna be a good day. I got my monster. I got some, uh, got a couple of uh, boudin balls. Turn your head and cough. And uh, we are gonna get going, because that's what we do. And uh, I'll check you guys out in a bit. Texas disconnecting a trailer. Turn it uh, See? Uh, it's hard to tell. Anyway, but uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up. Please read your load notes on the location where you're picking up or dropping off. So the two trailers. To my, the one to my left, the one to my right. They're both here and both have the tandem slid all the way up. Well, if you read the load notes for this Costco in Brookshire, Texas, it clearly says to please make sure you slide the tandems all the way back. So, this is not the place, I don't really believe. But there's one place where I've read that if you do not slide the tandems, you can get fined. They will charge Prime. And guess who will pay that? Prime ain't gonna pay that. Prime did their job. They got the trailer there. The driver didn't do his job. So, it's the driver who will pay. And I know, we've all been there, you know, we, we're tired, we, you know, we've driven on a whole dang shift, we're, we're just ready to, we're ready to drop the dang trailer and go sleep, yeah, we've all been there. But, I mean, is it really worth a fine, you know, is it really worth it? I don't think it is. 
especially it takes all of a minute and a half, two minutes to slide the tandems. But you know, that's just me. So we're gonna hook up to this trailer, no, my loaded trailer. Oh, I'm gonna give you guys a quick, uh, quick uh, picture here. Stop right around there, have plenty of room. Hang on for two seconds. We're gonna use this Lucas Red and Tacky Spray Grease on the fifth wheel, lube it up, show you how it's done. All right, here we go. That's my trailer. As you can see, I'm pretty well lubed right now. I had a, a couple of bags in there. We're just gonna, just gonna lube it up. Now, these areas where it's less shiny, see that's good. It's less shiny right here. Those are the areas I feel need the more lube. This right here. your fifth wheel skid plate you just lube it up and the areas that need lube are the areas that are dry ah, right so you know food for thought those little cheap baggies of lube cost about bucks each buck 50 each well to lube up this will lube I'm not exactly sure how many it doesn't say I've lubed eight fifth wheels with it, with this to lube up eight fifth wheels you need 16 bags so let's say a buck each. That's 16 bucks, right? Lube up the same eight fifth wheels with eight, the same fifth wheel eight times with this can. Can only cost 12 bucks. So, just some food for thought. Let me hook up this trailer. So we're hooked onto the trailer now. Go raise the landing gear. Do a pre-trip inspection on the loaded trailer. First thing you want to do, turn your hazard lights on. It's going to get noisy. It depends on 
air pressure inside one of the airbags. So, you see, it was still climbing and you might, you might hit it, pull the pin and think, oh, well, it's good. It's only, it's only 18,000, 20,000 pounds. When in reality, it's closer to 33 that you might be illegal, right? So, that being said, we got some room to play with with the tractor gauge. So, we're gonna push this pin back in. Ba -dang. All right now, unfortunately, my trailer brakes are released. But while they're released, you can't pull that pin. So we're going to have to set the trailer brakes, then pull the pin. So, let's stop the truck from idling high. more high idle. We're going to set the trailer brakes. And we're going to pull the pin, go up a little bit. Now, no matter what somebody might tell you, there's no such thing as a magic formula for one hole is 500 pounds, one holds 300 pounds. Nope. Hey, look, another green tram truck. There's no magic formula for it. again and go check it out we're here at the flying J in Brookshire Texas just scaled out the load and I want to show you guys what it's looking like here look at that that's actual weight so what that means is I may be I may need to Re, uh, readjust, recalibrate my tractor scale, which is fine. But that's how we get it evened out, get it loaded out, and we're going to head on down to Torres Laredo, get it done. I'll see you guys in a few hours for me, a couple of seconds for you guys. Hold off. So as it turns out, didn't go Laredo. Well, I mean, I did, just not now. I've been to Laredo, been all over the country, a couple weeks. Noticeably, the beard is a little longer. Not because I'm doing no shave November, I just haven't shaved. But stuff's been going on. I'll get with into you guys a bit in the next video. For now, peace out. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff.